Hi, this is Kyle from Anastasia's River, and today I'm going to be doing a few resistance checks on the ignition stator for the 25 horsepower Mercury motor, which is this guy. Uh, this is the stator that I removed from the boat motor. Uh, this is the primary coil for the ignition and the secondary coil for the ignition. Uh, I'm going to be bench checking them just to make sure they're uh, they're within spec because I think the spark is a little weak, uh, and this is this would be a reason to check them. I'm going to ignore this side because this is just a power generation um, stator for just it supplies. I think at 5,500 RPM, maybe like five amps. So it's not a serious power generator. Uh, I don't think it's necessary um, to even worry about. It could be bad, it could be good. This has nothing, this right here, has absolutely nothing to do with the ignition system. It's all, all these two coils right here. So, let's, let's get to it. What I'm gonna do is, there's a, a plug right here and inside there are three pins corresponding to the different wires so we have a blue, a black, and a red what you're going to do is take a multimeter and just set it to the ohms set, uh, setting this is just a really cheap multimeter so the it's completely automatic see if I can't get it so there we go um, it's just an auto setting just quick ohms it's not super accurate but for troubleshooting it's absolutely invi invaluable so for 20 bucks you really you can't beat it so I'm just gonna have that setting on the side I've got a little alligator clip on the negative lead and I'm just gonna clip that onto the black wire so the black pin just to make it easier so now black wire is on the negative lead and I'm going to take the positive lead and place it on whatever I'm trying to get a reading on so let's go blue first blue is supposed to be around 3000 ohms and blue corresponds to the larger of the two coils so let's get to it. And here we have, I don't know if you can see on the camera, three, about 3,000 ohms. So that's within spec. And let's go to the red wire and see if that one is also within spec. And it says 140 ohms, so that is also within spec. So, just like that, easy peasy, on the bench, you can see that the primary and the secondary, or you can say the fast and slow, or it's the two coils are completely fine, they're within spec. So, I'm going to do one more check and make sure um, it's not shorting to ground and then we should we should be completely ready to go so I'm going to clip it onto the iron so just the the iron portion of the coil and then test either of the wires and we have an open, so that's good. So what I'm looking for is that OL. That means that there is an open, there is no continuity in that circuit. So, we'll do it again. That one is open for the primary, the larger coil, and the smaller coil is also open. Good. So 
So what does this mean? This means that this part, which I checked it on the motor, it looked it looks low, but it's always a good idea to bench check these kind of things. Um, I must have just not been holding the the leads correctly, or maybe they weren't plugged in all the way. But this is a completely serviceable part, so I'm gonna put it back on and continue searching for the fault. All right, so we did all the resistance checks on the, the stator for the ignition and it all checked out good, um, both the primary and the secondary coil. So now we're moving on to other parts of the ignition system to make sure that they are working and soon the motor will be running. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this little clip of me fixing things, then like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. And there will be more to fix. There always is.